Hello my friends and welcome back to this channel. Look at me for the first time trying to do an analysis of something that happened not so long ago. Today we are 15. You know when it happened <laughs> on a fatidic day of 13, isn't it? Trump, Trump, my friends, he nearly lost his life. He nearly lost his life. But um, what's more uh, amazing here is the fact how he survived this assassination attempt. God had his hand on him, friends. God saved his life, for sure. While the Secret Service, the local police, failed miserably. Or, or, the question is, did they fail or they've done it on purpose? I want to show you something, a video, a footage taken originally by BBC with a, a witness saying, you will see, that um, he saw the wannabe killer, praise God, he end up not being a killer at all but he end up being hunted and he lost his life um, the way in which he lost his life as well just like they wanted him um, not to be able to speak they wanted him to be silenced so you're gonna see in this interview taken by BBC you're gonna see how Someone says uh, something that made me believe that the uh, Secret Service and, B and uh, the local police are somehow either involved in this or they allow this to happen. I cannot uh, shake it off. And many of us believe this. Take a look at this interview and tell me what you believe. Three, two, one. Go. Uh, someone who was here. You weren't inside the event, nope. but you were just outside. Tell us what you yes. saw. And what. So, so we had a party here all day. At the, uh, you can see behind us at the, the Brinkles Farming Greenhouse here. We had a party, um, and we all decided, hey, you know, when, when we hear Trump up there, we're going to walk up through the field, stand by the trees up there under the shade, yeah. and watch the, and listen to the rally. Right? We couldn't see him, but we could hear him. So we walked up. And probably five to seven minutes of Trump speaking, I'm estimating here, I have no idea, you know. But um, we noticed a guy crawling, arm, you know, bear crawling up the roof of the building beside us, 50, 50 feet away from us. So we're standing there, and, you know, we're pointing, we're pointing at the guy crawling up the roof. And he had a gun, right? He had a rifle. A rifle. We could clearly see him with a rifle, absolutely. Um, we're pointing at them. The police are down there running around on the ground. We're like, hey, man, there's a guy on the roof with a rifle. And the police were like, huh, what? You know, like, like they didn't know what was going on. You know, we're like, hey, right here on the roof. We can see him from right here. We see him. You know, he's, he's crawling. And next thing you know, I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, why is Trump still speaking? Why have they not pulled him off the stage? I'm standing there pointing at him for, you know, two or three minutes. Secret Service is looking at us from the top of the barn. I'm pointing at that roof, just standing there like this. And next thing you know, five shots ring out. So you're, you're certain that the shots came from that guy on the roof? hundred percent, hundred percent. And he, he was up there for a couple of minutes. He was up you there. You saw him up there for a couple of minutes. Absolutely, at least three to four were, minutes. And you were telling yep. the police and the Secret Service? We were telling the police. We were pointing at him for the Secret Service who were looking at us from the top of the barn. They were looking at us the whole time when we were standing by that tree. Could they see Binoculars. Him? Could they see him? Probably not, because the roof, the way the, the slope went, he was behind where they could see. But, but why is there not Secret Service on all of these roofs here? I mean, this is not a big place. Did you see, I mean, obviously everyone, when the shooting started, everyone was very panicked. Did, oh, you, did you see what happened to him at all? Oh yeah, they blew his head off. Okay, sorry. Secret Service blew his head off. Okay, just be careful because we don't quite know who's watching, but you're pretty sure they, they, they shot the guy? Absolutely, 100%. Okay. Yep. You, you saw that happen? Yep. 
Yep. Okay. Yep. And did you see them go up to him afterwards, or? They, yeah, they crawled up on the roof. They had their guns pointed at him, make sure he was dead. He was dead, and that was it. It was over. That's incredibly shocking. The guy was on the roof right there. You could see the white roof right there. Did you get a look at him? Could you? I, I no, other than he was in muted colors, tan type clothing. We saw the rifle flinging around as he was trying to crawl. I mean, we saw the rifle, 100%. Do you, do, I mean, do you know about guns? Do you know what kind of weapon it was? Oh, I absolutely know about guns, for sure. Yeah, you know, I mean, there is a rifle of some sort. I wouldn't know, you know, I wasn't close enough to read the label on it. No, but, sure. but it, was, it right. was a rifle of some sort. Yeah, absolutely. So what do you, how do you process what you've just seen? <sighs> I, I don't know what to say, man. All I'll tell you is, you know, if I, if I walked up close to there with anything that can, Secret Service considered a, a, a problem, I wouldn't be standing here talking to you right now. But I don't know why a guy who we're standing there pointing out to police and Secret Service is crawling up the roof. Were you outside the security perimeter? Yes, right there by that tree. We were outside the security perimeter. But my question is, there's only a few buildings around here. Why is Secret Service not on every building? Here. Well, there's a whole bunch of questions, I think, that are going to come. There's a whole bunch of questions. Yeah. Yes, she was right in front of me. She kept going back and forth right in front of me. Yes. Tell us about her. I mean, nice horse, nice lady running with a flag. It seemed very, you know, patriotic. But what, what's, what's the significance of her? No, she just, he asked me if I saw a horse. Okay, okay. All right, well, listen, I'm sorry you had to witness that. That was a terrible thing. And uh, you should stay safe with your family and uh, gotcha. your stuff. Um, thanks for your gotcha, time. Man. So that was the video, as you've seen it yourself. And this is an interview from BBC, friends. Imagine that. Not from American Pravda Media. You see how CNN and MSNBC in the beginning were approaching this. And then when they've been ridiculed mercilessly, without mercy, saying that an apparent attack or uh, Trump fell, shameless, shameless uh, hacks, disguised as a journalist. At CNN, they were claiming that Trump fell. After they'd been mercilessly mocked, they had to cover this as exactly what it was, an assassination attempt upon Trump's life. But God had his hand on Trump. And he survived because of God, and not because of Secret Service, that the, the I don't know the failure in protecting him and securing the perimeter is um, mind blowing, and uh, as well the local police. So uh, no, he's not alive because of Secret Service and uh, local police. They were actually like a, it seemed like they were trying to facilitate the perpetrator. They didn't engage him at all, even though he was there on the roof and everybody could see him. They didn't engage him before he shot the first shot. Mind blowing, isn't it? Well, it is what it is. I had to give my, my take on this and I am one of those that as well believes that um, this stinks to high heaven. Stinks to high heaven and the secret service should be held accountable for what happened there. Local police, they should answer as well, but Trump was under the protection of Secret Service, first and foremost. And now Secret Service made a fool of themselves. See you soon, friends, and thank you for listening.